Hi, my name is Tom Gordon. I'm founder of the Pepper Project, along with my wife, uh, Chris. And we just had a probably a 45-minute tuk-tuk ride to uh, on some pretty dusty and bumpy roads to get out here to Starling Farm. This is the entrance to the farm, and inside you'll see uh, how they pick it, how they grow it, how they sort it, all done by hand. It's really a fantastic experience. These are young pepper plants, just starting on the vine. They were planted in August. So they grow up the vine, they'll cut them off, use the cuttings to plant new plants. And eventually after about three, four years, it'll really start to um, mature and produce to its max. It'll grow about 12 feet high. These plants are about a year and a half old here, so you can see how much bigger they were than the last ones. Those were, the last ones were just planted in, in August. Um, you know, if you need proof that um, it's organic, you can see a lot of leaves are eaten away here. They don't use, there's no insecticides used here at all. As far as fertilizer, they use um, cow dung, bat dung, and they use fish, and uh, some local plant material. There's a few, there's a little pepper pod here. It's growing. This will, um, when they're this, um, when they're this young, they have real small peppers. So it takes it about four years. It'll mature, and you'll get nice, fat, plump, uh, camp pot peppercorns. So this is like a four-year-old plant. So it's really producing. It's at it's getting close to its peak, and you can see harvest season right now. This thing is loaded with peppers. These will all be picked by hand. And as um, the owners were explaining to us. The old way of, of growing these plants was on a mound where the fertilizer and water and everything would wash off. They've created little ponds around here that hold the fertilizer in, hold the water in, and so it's just a more efficient way of going, growing. And as a result, um, maybe you get a maximum yield. So it's just beautiful. You could uh, take these now, put them on some Kempot pepper crab. They're tasty as can be. And most of them, though, will be picked and they'll be dried in the sun and turned into black pepper. and. Ideally shipped to the U.S. <laughs> so this is where they make the fertilizer. It's a little um, cow dung in here, some bat manure. They throw in some fish, they mash it up. Then they throw in the leaves from this plant here, which I don't know the name of, but it forms like a natural pesticide. They put it all in here. Then in order to keep the flies and everything away, they fill that up. They top it with dirt then to keep the flies and everything and let it brew underneath. And so when it comes time to use it in the, um, around the plants, they'll take this the cover of dirt off there and uh, they've got a natural organic fertilizer. Then they also take these plant leaves, put it in water and uh, let it sit for a while and it forms like a natural, um, natural pesticide. So no chemicals on Kempa pepper. Starling Farm, it's harvest season now, it's in March, and uh, this is how the pepper looks when it comes off the vines. It comes off these almost like little bunches of grapes here. And you see some of them are fully ripened berries, that's the red ones. All this is done by hand. They will pick the red berry off here, like that, put it in a little pot. That's the red berry, all done by hand. The green goes in here where it's uh, blanched and then dried, and that becomes the black um, black pepper. But the incredibly intensive, uh, labor intensive process. Pepper comes out here, they put it in a sack, like a gunny sack kind of thing. This is filled with boiling water. They drop the, drop the pepper in for about 10 seconds. Just kind of blanch it. Take it out, dry it again, then still leave it in the bag. They walk over the top of it. And that separates the um, green pepper, which will soon become black pepper, into um, individual peppercorns. They, they have uh, the vines over there, and those are discarded. And this is the drying process here. You can see this is red here, and this is real red pepper. A lot of stuff you buy in the supermarket are just berries from plants in Brazil. But this is real, honest to goodness, red pepper. Um, that's the black in the back. So it's laid out here for a few days to dry in the hot Cambodian sun. And then it's packaged up, it's washed again, it's cooked to kind of sterilize it. They do that back in Phnom Penh. And uh, then it's uh, vacuum packed and sent off to the Pepper Project.